grateful. It must be from Alexander. How I wish that I could see him with my own eyes. But Abdul will never allow it. He only risks capture by sending me these things dear to my heart. Though they are. Fly elsewhere, my pretty friend. Do not endanger Prince Alexander again by taking tokens from his hand. Forgive me, Alexander, and forget me. I cannot return your love, for I fear that I shall never leave this castle again. Aww. Dum dum dum. Owned. So! Alexander waits in vain for Cosima's nightingale to return, but the bird does not. Could there be something wrong? Or does Cosima simply not welcome his attentions any further? Go to the pawn shop. Okay. Okay. Drain the mysterious bottle from the... Good day, Prince Alexander. Hmm? Uh, drain the mysterious bottle from the garden of the Isle of Wonder in his presence. This Look what it is. Ah, drink me. Okay. Alexander suddenly gets a very sneaky idea. I can't go on anymore. Without Cosima, I'd just rather not live. Prince Alex! No! It's true. The Vizier has beaten me. I give up. Poison is my last resort. I beg you, stop! I am no more. Oops. How shall you ever get the idea? Oh, what a waste. The poor young fool. Well, I guess you, perhaps some people try it out and then we store a safe. But yes, Alexander in this story couldn't know. <laughs> It's kind of the sad thing. Hmm. He's dead! He's dead! Wait until Abdul hears. He'll be so pleased! <laughs> Dancing old man. Cute. Seconds later, in the castle. I told you not to pop in like that. You can learn to knock like everybody else. I just had my pants down, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I knew you would say that. Sorry, Master. I couldn't help myself. I have great news. I'm so predictable. Sad. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, what is it? Prince Alexander's dead. He killed himself in despair for Lois and Cosima. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Uh, look at these two bottles. That's important. What? Are you positive? That young man has proven to be most devious. I saw the whole thing myself, Master. He was really and truly quite dead. Hmm. If I to say is true, it shall be most convenient. I've spent enough time on a little tent. We must start thinking about the wedding. Anything, Master. Oh, I do love weddings. Well, we do want you to look your prettiest, don't we? No, Shamir Shamazl, to the lamp with you. Prepare yourself as we discussed. I guess the blue bottle is the lamp. Mm hmm. Alexander Hart lurches to life in his chest. Hurt. His heart. His, his hurt. His heart. <laughs> his oven. <laughs> Prince Alex, but. but. you were. Sorry, friend. I was doing a little acting, I'm afraid. Ah, of course. The strange cloaked man. You are quite clever and a bit too exciting for an old man. I know he's getting a heart attack. <laughs> that would be sad. Okay, tra trade your tinderbox for the paintbrush. Tinderbox paintbrush. Would you mind? Would you oh, sorry. <laughs> would you mind if I traded this in? Beaten up later again. Evil, evil. Of course, Prince Alex. Please choose something in chains from the items on the counter. Blah 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 blah. The paintbrush. Yep. I think I'd like the painter's brush. Very good, Prince Alex. The painter's brush it is. May your painting go well. Feel free to bring the brush back at any time. Thank you. Good. 
Okay, leave and go to the lamp guy, to the lamp seller, and trade your hunter's lamp. Excuse me, peddler, but I have an old lamp that might interest you. Ah, an old lamp. And what a nice traditional design, too. Take your pick of my new lamps. This one, what? The silly thing here is Alexander couldn't know what lamp he has. Hello? Huh? Huh? How you know, how you mean you couldn't know how which lamp he has? Alexander couldn't yeah, know what lamp. Yeah, but you are playing Alexander, so you know it. No, I'm not. <laughs> the player knows the lamp, yes, but Alexander himself, if this was a story, could not know how the lamp looks. He never saw it. Huh? But he could uh, couldn't also find a, a hole in the wall that is carryable. I don't care. It's a, it's, it's a, for me. It's a faux pas. It's a pretty okay. bad faux pas. Ah, I try it, my son. Yes, your new lamp. Good day, and I thank you, sir. Okay, now go to the castle. Good day. Now he leaves. He made a good trade, obviously, so he can leave and <laughs> never come back. What is he doing there? Right. Not a dud. Ah. Uh, he, he's trading these things and hope for genie. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Go to the castle. And don't go to the front door, follow the path around it. Okay. Where? Oh. You're behind there. Okay, go to the path. Yeah, saving is a good idea. Mm -hmm. And then you should be at the castle side wall. Hello, guards. I'm just walking by. La 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 la. Don't mind. They me. absolutely don't care. <laughs> Use the black feather you found at the base of the cliffs of logic near the beginning of the game to steer the mess in your tear tea teacup. Alexander dips a large black feather into the teacup and steers the contents gently. Oh, it's losing its color. Interesting. You've now combined all of the ingredients for the magic paint spell. To his amazement, the jet black color of the feather slowly drains from end to tip into the teacup. The teacup mixed to blackness and thickens to paint like consistency. Alexander carefully puts it away, discarding the drained feather. Uh, this is still the other book. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> But yeah, I mean, this is uh, what what's happening next. I think that it's kind of like Looney Tunes. Okay. Or a, a Roger Rabbit. Magic paint spell. One cup swamp ooze, one river sticks water, one black horse feather. Add sticks water to swamp ooze in cup. Steal this horse feather. Apply it to blank surface with artist's brush. Speak incantation of a painting to materialize. Oh, with a painting. Okay. Uh... What do I have to combine? You already have everything combined. So here. Feeling artistically inspired, Alexander decides to make use of the large blank castle wall. I mean, honestly, that's so Roger Rabbit. Okay. Ah, a doorway. Just what Alexander was thinking this wall needed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cast. With trepidation, Alexander gathers his strength for the enchantment of the painted door. You? That's me? Oh. Yeah. Magic, paint, black as ink, bring to life what I think. Make it real, blah blah blah, spell work. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect! Ooh. Let me read it, Mrs. Yelling at me every time I read something for you. Yeah, sometimes I'm not sure if it's the uh, if it's Who the storyteller. Who else is going to read this? But there's the storyteller <laughs> the, too. The tree. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the storyteller the is doing Alexander's enchantment. Magic paint, black as ink, bring to life what I think, make it real what I draw, according to this spoken law. <laughs> Let me open the door now. Do you Hello. want me to talk? Yes. Eager no. to be inside the castle at last, Alexander opens enchanted door and steps inside. That is nothing at all. 
The magic uh, paint door fades back into the wall. So much for an easy exit. The basement of the castle is composed of four major areas. Door on the east wall is currently locked. The three doors opposite the locked door are the cells of the dungeon. In the north hallway, a single door leads to the guard room. In the south, you can find Jolo's room. Okay. Occasionally, a guard patrol will come out of the room. If they spot you, they will lock you in the dungeon. Uh, blah blah blah. Open the second dungeon door. And if it opens the dungeon door, he slips inside. Dungeon. Cell so 2. Mother, mother, where are you? Okay. Guess we have to give him the handkerchief? Yep. What's the matter, little boy? I'm lost. I can't find my mother. I don't know why she would just leave me here. I've been alone ever so long. You must be the son of the spirit I met in the realm of the dead. Oh, that's so friendly. She gave me this handkerchief and asked me to tell you that she's waiting for you there. Why is a little boy ghost here? What did they do with this little poor man? Oh. I don't know. But <clears throat> in some ages, children were uh, seen as small adults. So. Okay. It's mama's. It even smells like her. I can feel her now. I know where to go. Wait, before you go, is there anything you can tell me about the castle? I like to play in secret places. In the basement, behind the Man of Steel, is a door. Nobody except me knows it's there anymore. Swish. Behind the Man of Steel. Ugh, spider! It's the King Spider! Help me! Oh my gosh. Let's squish it. Leave. <laughs> Alexander couldn't and wouldn't want to reach the spider. Ugh. Okay, leave the hallway to the right. Okay. Uh, to the right. Exactly. I guess it's here. Yep. Ignore the stairs and enter the door on the east wall. Alexander's trying to find out what's on the other side of the door. Oh, his voice again. <laughs> Jolo's room! Conversation What's time! Alexander? I can't believe it! How did you get into the castle? Well, I... actually it's a little hard to explain. I bet! You were a terrible risk being here! The castle is crawling with guard dogs, especially today! The Vizier will have you hide if he finds you. I know that, Jolo, but Cosima is being married today. What greater risk is there than that? Of course, you're right. Young love, I forget what heartburn it is. But what do you propose to do about it? I've got to try to see her. Maybe even stop the wedding. Is it all? And here I thought you would try something dangerous. <sighs> Don't worry about me, friend. Just tell me, where is Cosima? I have to sneeze. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you have to sneeze? No, I just yawned. Okay. <laughs> as far as I know, she's still in her bedroom upstairs. You would never make it up there, though. The guard dogs are everywhere, and they're very loyal to the crown. Unfortunately, right now, the crown means a husband. If you had proof of something truly a foul, the guard dogs might listen. As it is, they are your enemies, not his. I understand. I've had no lack of enemies since I got here. In fact, you'd almost think I wasn't welcome. Oh gee whiz, really? Ha! That is a princess have no sense of humor. Well, I can see this no putting you off. For Kasima's sake, I wish you luck. I'll be here if there's anything you need. Thanks, Jolo. Give him the lamp. Good. Yeah. I've been thinking about what you said about swapping a replica for the genie's lamp. I got this lamp from the old lamp seller in town. Do you think it will pass? Why, yes! It's an exact replica! That's amazing! How did you guess? <laughs> there knowledge. we have it. I suppose it was intuition. Mm -hmm. Men don't have intuition. <laughs> hey! <sighs> 
I'll have to wait for the right moment, mind you, but I should be able to get close enough to swap this for the real thing. And none shall be wiser. Now you shall see Jollos.